Hello, my name is Alex and today I'm going to show you how I painted the Death Elemental by Creature Caster. I want to use this model as the Nightbringer in my Necron's army. To fit it to the painting scheme of it, I'm going to use a dark blue where the skin is solid and red, orange and yellow in the area of the vortex and the flying skulls. For the weapon arm and the scythe, I'm going to use a non-metallic metal approach. Well, enough of talking, let's get started. I start from a white base coat to make sure the yellow and orange has a vibrant saturation for the glowing effect I want to achieve. From the middle of the vortex to the outer radius, I use my airbrush to apply Vallejo Sun Yellow, Orange Fire and Flat Red to get a nice transition between these colors. After that, I used dry brushing to create the inner glowing effect by applying a darker color on the more elevated structures of the model. I use orange fire on the yellow areas, flat red on the orange ones and red on the flat red surfaces. of the vortex as well as on the spirit parts I gently use night blue. Next I want to make sure the eyes of the spirits and souls in the vortex are visible on the model by painting them white again. I use a heavily thinned down color to make my life easier during this step. When this is dry I finally give the whole vortex a wash with 50% sun yellow and 50% orange fire in a 1 to 20 mix with water. Next up is the body of the miniature. Again I start at the center of the chest and the face with sun yellow and then blending in orange and red as I get towards the side of the body. I do the same on the left hand which is pulling some souls out of the vortex. The majority of the skin and the back however is coated in black to have a dark base for the night blue. I then use a brush with a one to one mixture of yellow and orange to add highlights to the chest on the more elevated details. For the dark skin I use magic blue and ghost grey. step is working out the rods in the chest. The most difficult part for me is the armored arm and the scythe because I never did a non-metallic metal approach before. Since I start from the white base coat I apply black from the bottom side upwards with my airbrush. I then work back and forth from the white areas to the black ones and reverse always pulling some of the color to the other area and this way creating a smooth transition between these two. I first do this for the bigger areas, the shoulder, forearm, the blade and the spike. a smooth transition on these bigger areas, I start adding detail to the smaller sub-areas, sometimes adding some additional intermediate reflections. When this is done I use Ghost Grey to do the edge highlighting on the scales and the weapon. To smooth 
remove the transition between the colors and now use a black wash. And as the last step, I use white to pronounce the edges facing towards the imaginary light source even more. Finally, I only had to paint the flames on the scythe, the orb in the middle of the shoulder pad and the base, and gluing everything together. And this is the final result. Well, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and leave your comments below. See you next time. Bye.